Hi, Cancers. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Happy to be here. Let's see what's coming towards you guys for the month of February. Okay. These three just jumped out. Okay. So keep in mind, guys, this energy can be vice versa. This could be your energy. This could be a partner energy, someone that is around you. Um, let's hop into it. Let's get to it. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, we have solitude. So you possibly have been distancing yourself you possibly have been, you know, going within, taking time to yourself. I feel like you could be, there could be some type of shake up here with disruption. Okay. There could be some type of shake up, shake down, whatever. There's a, it, there's a disruption. Okay, something could be feeling, you could be feeling that something is crumbling. Okay, and this is possibly making you feel, you know, trapped in fear. Okay, you could be afraid for this to crumble. You could be afraid for this to fall apart. But I feel like nonetheless, we got to stand your ground. So you're being confident, even though things may look or feel as if they are falling apart. You're being brave, okay? You're being brave, okay? I feel like even though you are feeling like you're stuck or trapped, I feel like you guys are standing your ground, okay? You're being brave, okay? You're being brave. You're being brave. But I feel like you've been keeping... You know, you've been keeping to yourself. Maybe you've been keeping things in. You're trying to find solutions. You're trying to figure this thing out. Okay. But you, you may know. Okay. You may be aware that it's time to take a break. That it's time to, you know, put things to rest. You may feel that it's time to, you know, back off and isolate yourself but i feel like this scares the hell out of you okay i feel like this something falling apart and when we see disruption or a tower card a lot of times this doesn't necessarily mean that when it falls apart that it's always it's going to fall apart for the bad this could be falling apart or coming down or feel as if it's coming down for the better Okay, but I feel like nonetheless, you're going to be, it's like, okay, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for the battle. You're standing your ground. And I absolutely, I absolutely love that. I absolutely love that. I'm really, really impressed by this energy, Cancer. I'm very impressed. All right, so let's get a read. Let's get a read. Let's see. I want to see what's going on. What's coming towards cancer? Are there any warnings? What message is there for cancers? Okay, something is ending, okay? Something is something is ending, okay? Something is over. Or there's feelings of being betrayed okay a devil you could be dealing with the capricorn okay you could be dealing with a toxic situation you could be cutting ties okay i'm definitely picking up cutting ties something that is possibly draining you emotionally Something that is possibly you feel bound and tied to. You're cutting that tie. You're cutting that tie. Okay? You're cutting that off. Mmm, Knight of Swords. <laughs> huh. You're cutting something off. It's like don't come running back to me when 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 it's, when something gets bad. Don't come running back to me. Look, King of Swords, you're cutting something or someone off. You, you're done. You're cutting something off. Ooh, 
somebody, somebody, oh goodness, because I'm picking up, okay, you don't want to be in this relationship, you don't want to give me the things that I need in this relationship, this is, it's over, okay, don't come running back to me when things are bad, okay, Seven of Swords. I really don't like seeing the Seven of Swords and the devil in a reading together. Because this lets me know that there is definitely something sneaky, something manipulative energy, a false mask. So it's kind of like stop wearing this false mask. Okay? Mm. And tell the truth. Be real. Okay, we got the Eight of Pentacles. You're, just, you're done putting in the effort. You're done. Three of Swords. There is possibly like a breakup. I'm picking up as well a separation or a divorce. Okay, got that Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So there could be like a, a breakup, okay? Separation. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Somebody is plotting. <laughs> There's some type of scheme, some type of plot. <clears throat> Why is. You could feel trapped and stuck in this situation, okay? You could you could have, because this is past energy. You could have felt stuck, okay? Afraid. Like, you know, what am I going to do? What's next? We got Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. There's an intervention. Someone's intervening. Okay, ooh, someone's asking for sexual energy from someone. Okay. Well, this is a this is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot. Okay. So someone's offering someone something. Okay, you see this this rod? <laughs> this rod here. This is an invitation. This is communication. This is someone offering someone this. Okay. Someone could be asking for, you know, favors. Then all of a sudden, like, this is like shocking. This is shocking. Okay. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. It's like, I feel like there's someone coming in between something. We got the Queen of Wands. Okay, this could be a third party. And then we got the Queen of Cups. You guys, this energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But there's two people here. And, and there's someone in between this. Okay. Maybe that's why the Seven of Swords is here. This Three of Swords, the Devil. Okay. <laughs> I don't like these cards in the reading together. Okay, definitely some. Why is the Three of Swords here? Mm hmm. Your heart, I'm picking up like, you know. Whatever this is that someone lied about or did not tell the truth about, this breaks your heart, okay? This breaks your heart, okay? Maybe you feel betrayed, you feel stabbed in the back. You may feel like you have known this person, but this person could most definitely really be wearing a mask, okay? And I'm getting like, stop pretending. Stop 
pretending. Why is the devil here? Wheel of Fortune. I think things just took a turn. Like, things just really took a turn here. Why is the Seven of Wands here? I feel like... Knight of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like you decide to cut this person off, okay? But I feel like you could be dealing with the Capricorn. Uh, I feel like... Slowly, let me see. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? King of Cups. You guys' is energy. I feel like slowly... It's going to take you a while to get over this. Okay? So I'm still getting like someone is so shocked that someone was... Is I, I, I'm just kidding. Like, there's some type of invitation. I'm just gonna say that there's some type of invitation. Like I said, there could be a Scorpio involved with this Tower card, but this just shook you up. It was shocking, surprising. I feel like someone's going to be trying to start over. We got King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I feel like someone's going to be trying to start over, but you're not having it. It's like, don't come running back to me. No, this is it. Okay, you lied to me. You lied to me. You lied. You got caught in a lie. And I feel like you're waiting to catch somebody in a lie, too. And when you find out it's going to be something that's shocking, okay? And this is going to hurt. It's going to sting. It's going to sting. So you guys need to, you know, this is a warning more so. More so this is a warning, okay? Know who you're dealing with because you could be dealing with someone that is more, more than likely wearing a false mask. How do they feel? How do they feel about cancer? Show me. How do they feel about cancer? Okay, we got wedding. For some of you guys, this is a marriage, okay? This involves a marriage, all right? And we got romantic feelings, okay? Okay, so there's trust issues from the past. Okay, so. Okay, for this, a lot of you guys, this could be involving a marriage. You could be married to this person, okay? Or you've been with this person for a, a long time, okay? It doesn't necessarily have to be a marriage. You could have just been with this person for a long time. There was trust issues in the past. So this is a repeat, something that's been repeated, 
okay? I feel like, let's see why romantic feelings are here. Why is romantic feelings here? The tower. You guys, you are something is a life changing, something that is like going to come out of the blue, okay? Page of Swords, Three of Wands. They've been waiting to tell you or waiting for you to find out something is just out of the blue, okay? But they possibly are afraid, okay, of this moment right here. They're possibly afraid of this moment but they've been waiting for you to find out or they they're waiting for you to investigate or spy or you know waiting for the truth to be revealed you could be dealing with the scorpio why is it tower card here you could be dealing with an aquarius okay they're losing hope. They're losing hope in this situation. We got the four of cups and the star. Okay. So they don't have any faith right now. They're losing faith and they're losing hope. Okay. They're losing hope. For some of you guys, this is most definitely a marriage. We have justice. Okay. Okay this Libra's energy. We got Libra energy here. Oh, yes, a wife. Okay. Four of Wands, which is a marriage. The Empress is the wife. So for a lot of you guys, this could be involving a marriage, okay, that is on the way to a separation. Four of Swords and a Death card. Okay. I feel like there's trust issues here. Why is past life relationship here? Hermit and the Two of Cups. I feel like this person returns to their past from time to time. And I feel like this is, I feel like this person past haunts them. And it's it's. I feel like this is a repeated thing. This isn't anything that is um, new. This person, you don't have to be the person that's, um, you don't have to be the person that's married to this person. The other person could be married and separated. But I feel like they're losing, they're losing feelings here. They're losing hope, okay? I hope this message was helpful for someone here. Let's get a, um, advice. Let's get advice for cancers, please. Is that for my cancers? What advice is that for cancers? Woo! Okay, we have life lessons. Okay. We got life lessons. You can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing that they contain. Life lesson. You might have to take this as a life lesson. Okay, you need to trust the signs and your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment. And uh, the best thing for you to be able to do is to give this situation to God. Okay, give this situation to God. Take a deep breath and on the exhale, release this situation to God for healing and answers. All right. So I hope this message was helpful. Okay, you guys let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And if you would like to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, I am available um, for 
new clients, okay? Contact me. I'll put the information across the screen if you would like to book your very own personal reading, okay? I'm running some amazing rates right now. All right, until next time, my loves. Ciao for now.